we've got to talk about it. Is the entry-level MacBook Pro still worth it? Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Apple has quite a few Macs in its portable lineup at the moment. You can choose the 13 inch MacBook Air with Apple's M1 processor. You can go up to the 13 inch MacBook Pro also with Apple's M1 processor. Then there's the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pros with Apple's M1 Pro or M1 Max silicon on the inside. But the MacBook Air and that 13-inch MacBook Pro are very similar in price. The MacBook Air starts off at $1,000, while the MacBook Pro comes in at only $1,300. So is it worth it to buy the 13-inch MacBook Pro? Or should you just go with the MacBook Air? That's what I'm gonna address in this video. So what are the differences between that $1,000 13-inch MacBook Air and the $1,300 13-inch MacBook Pro? As I said, both come with Apple's M1 processor on the inside, but there's a couple differences. So on the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, both have an eight core CPU. The GPUs differ just a bit. That base level MacBook Air at a grand, that only has a seven core GPU, where as the $1,300 13 inch MacBook Pro comes with the eight core GPU by default. Otherwise, they each start with eight gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that 13-inch MacBook Pro also happens to be the last computer with Apple's Touch Bar. While the Touch Bar did go away on all subsequent MacBook Pros, I still really liked it. And if you're dead set on getting one, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is the only way to do that. So with the CPU, the storage, and the memory all the same, is it worth that $300 price difference to go to the MacBook Pro? You get the touch bar, you get an extra GPU core, you have slightly better battery life, a larger charger, things like that. Is that worth the $300? Personally, heck no. Don't buy the 13 inch MacBook Pro. If you are considering the MacBook Air or the 13 inch MacBook Pro, pick up the MacBook Air, but this is what you should do. Get the next level up MacBook Air. It'll tip the scales at $1249, which is $50 less than the 13 inch MacBook Pro. But it comes now with that eight core GPU, so the same GPU that's in the MacBook Pro, but you're also gonna get double the storage. So it goes from 256 to 512 gigs of storage, and it still costs $50 less than the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Yes, technically the MacBook Pro does have fans, which means better cooling, which means slightly better performance out of that same M1 chip. But for your average user who's looking at a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, there's barely a difference to worry about. They all have the same ports, they have almost the same everything. Save yourself 50 bucks, get double the storage, and get a MacBook Air. And even better yet, if you wanna wait, Apple soon should be releasing an upgraded MacBook Air that'll have even more features, possibly the M2 processor on the inside, again, making the 13-inch MacBook Pro completely irrelevant. At this point in time, do not buy the 13-inch MacBook Pro. If you're looking for a Pro machine, jump up to that M1 Pro processor and go with the 14-inch MacBook Pro. It's a beast of a machine and I would highly recommend it. Just please, don't buy the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments or find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you do want to grab a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, I have links and deals linked up in the description. Let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.